What's good guys? Today is Monday, August the 8th, 2022. Here in Western Kentucky, uh, the 8th day of August is a huge celebration and homecoming as we celebrate Emancipation Day. Uh, about 30 minutes from my home, people come and celebrate from all over the country. So it's a really big day uh, for Kentuckians, at least in the Western part of the state. Now, this video is going to be regarding the Kanika Jenkins case. I posted in the community section on the channel regarding a live uh, and a video. I think it was maybe two lives, maybe one live and just a pre-recorded video that Chloe Alvera, Cassie, in Cyclopedia, as I like to call her, because she knows a lot, a wealth of information regarding the Kanika Jenkins case. Facts. Um, she has inspired me to do a couple of videos regarding some new information that she found. And just like she thought it was a big deal, I really think it's a big deal. Now, um, I linked her video in the community section and I will link it at the bottom of this one as well. So that you guys, if you have the time, you can go listen to it. Is it long? Absolutely. Is it worth it? Most definitely. So one of the things that always bothered me about the case was regarding the dispatch. I did a whole video, I think maybe four videos, on the audio dispatch of the Rosemont Public Safety Department during the time of the Kanika Jenkins case. And I want to compare two calls. One call is when Officer Jerry Walsh finds Kanika, thanks to the Assistant Food and Beverage Manager, who so smoothly and casually strolled on into the freezer, found her, and went and got him. And also a call that happened previous to that. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to the background noise. Now, Chloe hit on this in her video, Cassie. But this wasn't even the point of her video. But to me, it, it was something that had always stuck out of my mind. And I was so glad to hear someone else speak on it. The other thing that inspired me in her videos was the great adult conversation that happened at the end of um, the video that I linked regarding her, Boss Blake, and Shamika B, where they had great adult conversation regarding the Kanika Jenkins case. And they were just bouncing ideas and theories off of one another and talking about facts in the case. So uh, I appreciate that content, Cassie, truly appreciate it, and appreciate Boss Blake and Shamika B for their thoughts regarding this case as well. So we're going to focus on the audio in this video, and I'm going to go ahead and play that audio. I'm going to play the first call, then I'm going to play Officer Jerry Walsh's call, and I want you guys to listen to the background noise. That's what I want you guys to focus on, okay? Let's get it. So I want to know y'all's thoughts on that. Do you hear the similarity in the background? To me, it just stuck out. And I always thought, well, where were you when you said you were arriving on the scene? 
because you got a lot of background noise. And I just thought it was very strange. And then when I hear Jerry Walsh's and the comparison of the two, it makes me wonder um, what was really going on. And that call is actually the third call in sequence. Um, if you go working in order of the calls, the audio dispatch that we received, it's the third call in sequence. So it's definitely something to think about. And I want to know what your opinion is. So let me know in the comment section what you think. And I don't want you just to say, oh, yes, I agree with you. Just I want your opinion. Um, and I'm going to start working on my next video because I have several things that I want to point out that really will make you think. So I'm going to end it on that note. But thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Have a great day.